Hi guys, this is Sadek from Dwebrin.com and in this video, we will show you how to check the current anti-rollback index on your Xiaomi phone and hence stop your phone from getting bricked. So first and foremost, what exactly is anti-rollback index? Well, in simple terms, anti-rollback index is just a number which is present on the fastboot ROM, the fastboot firmware of Xiaomi as well as on the Xiaomi phone and it's, it verifies for a few conditions on your phone and it will only flash the ROM if those conditions on your phone are met. So anti-rollback index or ARI is present on the firmware and the phone and Mi Flash tool will first verify the firmware ARI of, on the firmware and then it will verify the ARI of your phone. If it meets a condition, then the Mi Flash tool will flash the firmware. Otherwise, it will straight away give out the error message and will not flash the firmware. So what exactly are those conditions? Well, to be precise, there exist three conditions. These three conditions are as follows. First one, if the current anti-rollback index on your phone is less than the rollback index of the passport ROM, then the ROM will be flashed. So for instance, if the rollback index on your phone is 1 and the rollback index on the ROM is 2, then the ROM will be flashed and the rollback index on your phone will be increased so that it matches the rollback index of the ROM. So as of now, for instance, if the rollback index of our phone is 1 and of the ROM it is 2, then the ROM will be flashed and after flashing, the rollback index of our phone will be increased by 1 and it will now become 2 so that it matches the rollback index of the ROM which is 2. Next up, we have a case if the rollback index on our phone is equal to the rollback index in the ROM. In that case, the ROM will again be flashed without any issues but this time there will be no increment in the rollback index because both are same so both will stay at 1. Now comes the most important aspect. Now is the third point. If the rollback index on your phone is more than the rollback index on the ROM to be flashed then the ROM will not be flashed. So for instance if the rollback index on your phone is 2 but the rollback index on the ROM is 1 then the Mi flash tool will straight away say that I will not flash this ROM and it will show out the error message. You could bypass this rollback index and flash the ROM that way as well but it's quite risky and it will straight away brick your phone. We are not talking about soft brick or a boot loop. It will hard brick your phone and in that case the only way out is to use the EDL mode and then boot your phone to EDL mode and flash via an authorized MI service center which might cost you some money. So I will never recommend you to flash this ROM in such cases but still I will show you the method using which you could bypass this restriction and flash this ROM. So with that said, let's now check out both these three methods. So first and foremost, let me show you how to check the anti-rollback index on your phone and then I'll show you on the ROM as well. So for that, your first course of action is to download and install the Android SDK platform tools. This is the official ADB binary given by Google and is required to execute ADB command. So download it from the link given in my guide. I've given the guide here and then extract them onto your PC. You could extract them anywhere you want. As you could see, these are the files of the platform tools. Let me show you these are the files. So just ignore the last two files. This is of something else. And the rest of the files are the files of the platform tools. Once you have got this file, your next course of action is to download the Mi Flash tool. I'll also show you how to flash the ROM using the fastboot script. But first off, download the Mi Flash tool and extract them onto your PC. So let me show you. This is the Mi Flash tool. And these are the files of the Mi Flash tool. I recommend you to use the same version. I'm using the 28 May 2018 version. This is the version which works best for me. I have flashed numerous Android 13 ROM with this as well, MIUI 14 ROM. So do download this tool and extract them onto your PC as well. Once that is done, your next course of action is to download and extract the passport ROM. You could download the ROM from the official site or the third party site such as Xiaomi Firmware Updater. Once you have got the ROM, it will be in a dot tgz format you will then have to extract it for extraction you could use it a software known as 7zip so install it and then go to show more option then select 7zip and select extract to it will then extract as a tar file so the dot tgz will be extracted as dot tar so again right click on it select show more options and this time again select 7zip and choose extract to and now it will extract the firmware and you will get all the firmware files over here so with this, we have extracted the fastboot ROM and we have got all the files. So your next course of action is to boot your phone to fastboot mode. So for that, you have to 
enable usb debugging first and foremost so go to settings menu and from settings menu you have to go to about phone then go to miui version seven times and tap on it you will get a prompt that you are now a developer now go back again go back this time go to additional settings now go to developer option and enable the toggle next to usb debugging you will get a prompt on your phone tap on ok you might get an rc key fingerprint prompt tap on allow and with this we have enabled usb debugging let's now verify the debugging connection so go to platform tools folder type in cmd in the address bar and hit enter now you have to type in adb devices and hit enter and make sure that you are getting a serial id once you get in this id you could now boot your phone to fast boot mode for that you have to type in adb reboot bootloader so type in this command and hit enter and with this your phone will now boot to the fast boot mode it will take around 4 to 5 seconds so let's just wait for the time frame so as of now we have extracted the firmware the fast boot rom and apart from that we also have extracted the Mi Flash tool and likewise we have now booted our phone to fast boot mode so let's now verify the fast boot connection for that open cmd window and type in fast boot devices and then hit enter make sure that you are getting a serial id as in my case as you could see if you are not getting any serial id then you will have to install fast boot drivers i have made a guide on the same you could refer to my guide so this is the guide refer to this guide and make sure to install the fast boot drivers and then make sure that you are, you are getting a serial id once you are getting this id we could now perform a check of the anti rollback index so first and foremost i will find the anti rollback index of my xiaomi phone so for that you just have to copy this command and then paste the command in the cmd window and hit enter so as you could see the anti rollback index in my xiaomi phone is currently 1 it might be a different number for you 2 3 4 that does not matter just note on the number so for my zombie phone is currently one so the anti rollback number index is one for my phone so moving on we will now have to yes one more thing if you don't get any value if it's blank for example next to anti you don't get any number then in that case the anti rollback index is not implemented in your phone and you could then skip the rest of the guide and flash any downgrade firmware without any issue still take a backup because there's always some risk involved but if it's the value is nil next to anti then it means that arb is not implemented and you should not have any issues in flashing the downgrade firmware on the other hand if you have got a value then just keep a note of that value in my case the anti rollback index is one so let's now remember this value and now we have to find out the anti rollback index of the fastboot rom in my case this is the rom which i have extracted so let's now you will have to use the flash all file so right click on the flash all file and select edit with notepad or notepad plus plus anywhere will do now what you have to do is search for the following value set current anti version equals to x where x will be your roll rollback number so let's just copy this syntax over here don't copy the x because x will be a number for you so now open that file and use the control f and type in this and find next so let me search it so as you could see here is the case so in my case the current anti rollback version number is 0 so in my case my phone anti rollback index is 1 as you could see it's 1 for in the phone and in the rom is 0 so my phone qualifies for the third case let me once again show you the third case just give me a minute so in my case the current anti rollback number which is 1 for my phone is more than the rollback index of the rom which is zero in my case so in my case the anti -roll rollback index will come into place and i will not be able to flash the rom so let me show you once again the anti rollback index which for my phone is one so as you could see from here it's one for my phone which is more than the anti rollback index in the rom which is zero so in the rom it's zero on my phone it's one so my on my phone the rollback index 1 is more than the anti rollback index of the firmware which is 0 so i will not be able to downgrade the rom in my case however do keep in mind that you will only get this error message if you are flashing via me flash tool or using the fastboot flash all script 
if you are flashing the rom using the pwrp recovery then it will not show any warning it will state as a flash the rom and at the end it will end up your phone will end up in a brick state that is why it's recommended that you should never do a downgrade using a recovery file because it will never warn you it will flash the rom and only at the end your phone will not boot to the os because it will be bricked and in that case you cannot even access the fast boot mode so with that case this is how you could check the anti rollback index on your phone so let me now show you what i mean now if i go ahead and try to flash the rom via the me flash tool as of now as i have told you this is my my phone is qualifying for the third process so in that case the rom should not be flashed i should not flash the rom because the arb is more on my phone but still the best part of the me flash tool is that it will straight away show the warning message and it will not flash the rom so let me still show you once if i try to flash the rom using the me flash tool so make sure your phone is in the fast boot mode so now it's booted first and foremost please make sure to select clean all this is the most important aspect doing so will make sure that it, while all the data will be removed but the bootloader will stay unlocked so if something goes wrong you might be able to access the fast boot mode and flash the fast boot firmware without any issues so now let's first hit the refresh button and as you could see my phone is now shown here now click on select and let me now access the firmware which is was the failing the anti rollback index let me quickly access that so let me go to d drive and expand the zomi section and select this one it's the poco f4 india version and make sure to select the entire folder which has the images and not only the images folder select the entire folder and click on okay the firmware has now been loaded and now if i hit the flash button let me show you what will happen so it will now check for the anti rollback index and as you could see i have got an error message due to anti rollback check error and it's now failed so let me now show you the flashing file so this is the reason why in the first step itself it's it's it will perform a check for the arb anti rollbacks so it performed a check over here only and if current anti rollback is equal to the current anti roll it will flash but if it's less than then it will not pass then it will show you a error message that current device anti rollback version is more than this package and the flashing will fail and you will get an anti rollback anti rollback check error and this is what we have got anti rollback check error this is because it has performed this test and our phone failed this test and that is why we could not proceed ahead to flash this rom and this is always recommended that before doing a downgrade you should always first and foremost perform a check and if it's failing you you should never flash the firmware however if for some re reason you still want to take a risk then do so at your own risk i am still telling you that there are every chances that your phone might end up in a hard break and the only way out is that you have to go to the me service center and you will have to then spend some money to get your phone rectified but still if you want to take a risk and flash the rom even if it's failing over here then there exists a method using which you could still flash the rom obviously i will not flash the rom onto my phone but i will show you the steps on how you could flash the rom so let me first unplug my phone so that the rom does not get flashed onto my phone so now i will show you if you want to bypass the anti rollback check and still flash the rom i have seen the result 50 50 in some cases the flashing was successful whereas in other cases it failed and when it fails the phone will ultimately end up in a hard break state but still if you want to try out then you will now have to go to the fast boot rom which you want to flash and which is currently failing so in my case this rom was failing so go to the extracted folder then open the flash all file let me show you how to open once again so right click on it and select edit with notepad or notepad plus plus once this file has opened what you have to do is simply remove all these files from here and hit the enter key and make sure that there is no space in the starting and now hit the control s to save the changes once that is done simply close it and once you close the flash all let's verify once again so let's once again open the file and as you could see we have removed the anti rollback index check so the flash all file will no longer check for the anti rollback index 
and you could now easily flash the entire firmware without any issues it depends in some cases the flashing will be successful that i could guarantee but at the end your phone will either boot or it, it will get heartbreak regarding the flashing since it is not doing any arb check so the flashing it will flash all the files without any issues but at the end your phone might either get stuck in a heartbreak or it might reboot to the os so just to repeat what you have to do is just simply remove the files from the starting remove all the arb check lines from the starting and hit the control s to save the changes once you have saved the changes simply run the flash all file and the flashing will now start and it will flash all the file onto your phone you will never be able to flash the file using the me flash tool it will straight away show you the anti rollback index error but if you want to take a risk then once again you have two options at hand once you have made the changes to the flash all file you could now simply double click to launch the flash all file and it will flash all the firmware or you could once again take the help of me flash tool and then flash the file using the me flash tool this time it will not show any error because the me flash tool also uses the, also make use of the flash all file which we have already made the changes so this time if you go ahead and flash it the me flash tool will also flash the file it will not show any error message this is just because as i have told you before me flash tool also makes use of the flash all file and it performs a check using the same line but as of now since we have removed the lines the me flash tool will also not check for the arb and the files will be flashed and your phone will either end up in a soft break state sorry in a hard break or it will be flashed successfully so if you want you could take a risk but i will never recommend you to do so the choice is all yours so guys on that note i round off this video if you have any queries do let me know in the comment section and guys please like this video and subscribe to this channel for more tips and tricks thanks a lot for watching